In this discussion you will get information about what is the difference between hard delete and soft delete and in which case we need to use hard or soft delete concept. Let's say one website having a customers and after some time admin archive those customers who don't fulfill some criteria so that time as a traditional way admin will back up the database and remove those customers using delete query and no more those deleted customers available in production database in this screen you can see one table one customer table having some records as you can see first query it's select query and getting total count of customers 1,34,489 and uh, in second query delete three customers using primary key of that customer table and the last query it's re-execute the first query to get total number of customers after delete three records you can see like it's reduced three records into that customer table like 1,34,486 in this screen if admin want to regenerate deleted customer they have to again add into production server because it's not available in production database this is called hard delete concept everyone is using this concept but some scenario this way is not good let's say if we don't delete such record from table but we will add one flag and check if that flag is true that means we need to show records otherwise if that flag is false we don't want to show such records that means soft delete the main benefit is records still there in production database but whenever we need to active only we just need to execute update query and change flag false to true and it will automatically display in front end side in the screen you can see we have one flag and uh, that colon name is active and data type is boolean first query you can see it's select query added one condition is if customer colon active is true it's count all the customers second query you can see update query and that active colon update as a false it means it's archived record or it means as a soft delete and in third query you can see same count query apply with where condition if active equal to true it will return all the customers so using this technique it's called soft delete let me show you one real example in odoo one of the reserved field name is active and its data type is boolean the main aim of this field is visible or invisible records as we saw in soft delete let's do the practical going to editor so you can see this is our editor and here we can see one student profile so you can see this is our student profile if i'm going to browser you can see total number of student is 16 you can see here so let's see uh, let me delete this student like active as a delete this called hard delete like i right now i have a 15 record in database side if i'm going to database side it's also having a 15 records select star from school underscore student and just we will try to count number of records here you can see here it's a 15 records so it means we deleted permanently from the database so if we don't want to delete permanently but you can just archive those records if you don't want to use right now 
then we can just simply add one uh, flag and based on that flag it will active or inactive and it will showing here let's go to the editor here we will use active as a field name and fields dot boolean we need to use this boolean flag so boolean data type here I'm giving one uh, string attribute for labeling purpose and uh, also we will use default equal to true it means like whenever the new record will generate by default it's a true if we will not add here directly then always whenever you create a new record it goes to the archive mode like it won't be visible into search view or in tree view until unless you have some specific filter so now adding this field into form view okay and adding end of this form page field name equal to active and close going to here and try to upgrade this module school student I'm going to again browser if you see here in form view there is no any active field yet added but once I will refresh the page it will automatic visible you can see by default it's a true I'm going to again in list view you can see tot number of records is 15 going to again here edit and if this flag or this field I'm uncheck and save and going to again in list view first we need to remember the student name is XYZ it won't be visible in list view so you can see here by default it's a 14 records you can't see the XYZ record here if I'm going to in database and re-execute the same query it's giving the 15 records but if you go to the browser and this list view you can see only 15 records is visible because that XYZ student profile that flag active is false so let me show you that student name XYZ and uh, name active oops so you can see here that by default this student name is XYZ having a false value inside this active column again I'm going to browser and if you want to retrieve the record in list view you can just simply use this active equal to false and it will give you this unactive list here and I'm based on the user requirement they can just visible the records now you can see 15 records is visible again I'm going to terminal and uh, execute the same query you can see this value all value changed into true you can see previous it was false and now it is true and uh, if I'm going to apply the same query you can see still 15 records is visible so like this way you can apply such logic into your project I'm not talking about only the Odoo you can also apply into any other programming languages I hope you got basic information about hard delete and soft delete if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session